For today's video, I've got a product from Timu.com that I ordered for one reason, that's because I didn't trust the listing on there. I was on Timu recently and they kept showing this one product over and over again and the photos didn't look very realistic, so I accepted their challenge, I ordered it, and it just arrived today. So let's take a look at the actual product versus the photos in the Timu, what you see versus what you get. So you might recall I did a Timu video about a month ago, I ordered nine products. Seven of them are pretty good, two of them are kind of iffy, so it was a pretty good experience overall. I was on there recently and I kept seeing this one product. Every time I loaded the page, there it was. They were really kind of pushing this product on me. But when I went to look at it, the photos didn't look very realistic. They looked very Photoshopped. So I thought, all right, I'm gonna order this and I'm gonna see how it really looks. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Before I get to the product, let's take a look at the Timu listing and see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the listing itself. It's for a large clock. As you can see, they have it on the wall there. It looks very impressive. Now they have a, a price of $5.98, I paid $4.98, so sorry, it's already going up in price. I'm assuming it's popular because it's based on these photos that look very impressive. All right, so this particular photo here, it's, uh, first of all, it looks really nice, but it has, please know before purchasing, number one, the clock will have a luminous effect only after receiving light for a period of time, which can be light, sunlight, or ultraviolet. Translation, it's glow in the dark. Number two, the clock is not together and needs to be installed by itself. Translation, assembly required. Number three, the clock does not have the number seven, eight, 10, and 11, but is replaced by dots. Translation, people have complained about that. But let's take a look at some of these other photos here. The next photo, I, I can't really tell what that background is, so it's kind of hard to really get a feel for, for it. The next photo, which is interesting about this one, it's, it's showing a very strong glow in the dark effect in the middle of the day, which isn't very likely. Also, it shows here it's 16 inches wide. It's, that's clearly larger than 16 inches. That table might be 16 inches wide, and this is like twice the size. Next up, more glow in the dark feature in the daytime. This one looks like it's overlapping this plant, so it doesn't look realistic either. All right, so the listing looks kind of impressive, although the photos are totally fake, right? So here is what I got in the mail. All right, there we go. I have not opened this up yet. That looks pretty basic here. We've got some very thin hands for the clock. Wow. These must be the glow in the dark numbers. Here's some instructions. And then what's all this? Oh, this is my template for putting it on the wall. So this is a, this is the template so you can line the numbers up properly. I guess that's kind of a good idea. Now, before I get to the product itself, let me go back and show you some of the user photos of it because they seem like they're kind of all over the place. Now, here's one. This is a five-star review and it shows on the wall that to me doesn't look very impressive. Here's another five-star review and the dots are not there, but I guess it looks like it's kind of kind of glowing. This one looks even better. All of the nine and six look like they're kind of off. Maybe they're flipped, I'm not sure, but this one actually looks pretty good. Five-star review, easy to install, love it. This person gives a five-star review with just a red photo. Once again, we have a nice looking photo. This is on, someone put on a painting and it looks very impressive there. This person says, love it, it looks awesome, very bright in the dark. One more person, now they look they have the numbers much further away from the center than the others do, so making a larger clock, but it doesn't look too bad. Now here's a four star review, someone said the numbers are not all there. I guess it looks like the nine is missing. That's not good. Here's a two star review, this person just says the numbers are not that big. Oh, a one star review, and look at this, you can't even see it. It says, wasn't complete, had missing numbers, and the clock doesn't work. Now this person maybe maybe didn't realize the dots were there or the dots were not included, but it doesn't doesn't really look very good in that person's photos. Another one star review. Now we're starting to go to the one star reviews here. It does not look very impressive on that wall. It says it's a good idea, but numbers were missing. Now once again, they have dots here for most of the numbers. It says it doesn't glow enough in the dark to see it. Here's a person that actually has a video, but they say it's a total waste of money. I'm putting it in the trash. The numbers are missing. It looks so bad. All right, so clearly we have, a, we have kind of a, a set of five-star reviews and a set of one-star reviews. Where does it fall in between those? Let's find out. All right, so I've got the instructions here. Step number one says to first install the hour hand, then minute hand, and finally the second hand. All right, so they're saying hour hand first. I, I don't even know if this is right or not, but I'm gonna take a guess here. I'm already having a problem with the, the minute hand isn't even going all the way on there. We're off to a good start, huh? Well, I'm pretty sure that's not right. I guess that's it. It seems right. Now the next step is to put a battery in here. Let's try that. I got the battery in and I got the hands in place. I think we're, we're ready to go. We have movement. It is working. There is a dial back here where you can adjust the time. All right, the dial is the dial's working. I think, I think we're pretty much set. 
All right, so with that in place, the next thing to do now is head to the bedroom. I've got a nice spot picked out for it and install it and see how it looks. I've got this st a sticky note to mark the spot where I want the clock to be centered at. So I'm gonna put their template up to it and make sure it's level first. You can either go for the small clock or the big clock. I'm going big. Next up, we're supposed to take the numbers, peel them off and stick them to the wall. The backing comes off nicely. All right, well, that's kind of funny looking too, but we'll, we're gonna go with it. Well, you know, I will say they're brighter green than I expect them to be, so, so far so good, I guess. Here's what we've got so far with just the numbers there. I don't have the clock itself. I mean, it looks like, it looks brighter than I thought it was going to, so I'm, I'm a little bit happy, but you know, we got a long way to go though. But let me put the clock on there and then we'll see what happens. All right, here's the final product. Now in the daytime, it doesn't look that impressive. Maybe it'll look good at night, we should see. I'm gonna turn the lights off in here and see how glowy it is in the daytime without any lights on. Let's check it out. I'm not sure I'm really convinced it looks as good as the photos, although I do think it looks better than I thought it was going to. Also, it is 12.51 p.m. We'll see how accurate the clock really is too. So I'll check back tonight and give you an update. It is 5.30, so the clock's accuracy looks pretty good. Let me turn the lights off, which have been shining on this for about two hours now, so we should have a nice bright glow-in-the-dark clock. Glow-in-the-dark wise is looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set the time lapse and I'm gonna see how long this glow-in-the-dark actually lasts because there's no way that's gonna last all night. Let's see how much glow-in-the-dark time we get. Forty-five minutes. I'm across the room. I can, I can barely see it. It's still there, but I can barely see it. At the fifteen-minute mark, my time-lapse camera couldn't focus on it anymore. Let me get closer and see if I can see it up close. Even though it's very dim and, and barely visible across the room, I'm impressed that it's lasted this long. I've just put the Star Shower Ultra Nine on, which actually I've been running every day uh, since I did my review. I'm going to run it until I do my update a year from now. I turned it off for this video, but if you look, it's pretty bright. And over there is the clock. And, and you can't see it. So if there's if there's any light source at all, uh, the clock is pretty much, it's too dim to see. Can you see the clock over there? I can't see it. I don't see it at all. All right, so I woke up in the middle of the night, I looked over the clock and I didn't see anything. I woke up at 5.30 this morning, looked over and I still didn't see anything. But here's how the clock looks in the daytime when it hasn't been blasted with studio lights all day long. All right, here we go. Let's take a closer look here. Now that's, that's what it looks like in the daytime when it has not had studio lights blasted at all day long. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look as nearly as impressive as the photos. It might look better if there was a lamp below it or even better, a black light. But as is, I would say the glowing effect is not nearly as good as shown in the photos. All right, from 10 feet away next to a glass sliding door, how does it look compared to their picture? It doesn't really jump out like it does in their photos, but it's not completely invisible. So as you can see, there is a greenish glow to it, but not nearly as impressive as they show in the photo in the listing. Also in their photos, they show it right next to a glass sliding door, which is what I did. So the mounting location is about the same. It just looks way more impressive in their photos than in mine. It would probably look better on a dark colored wall, but I don't have a dark colored wall. And they did show it in a light colored wall and in their photos it looked much brighter than mine. Now I'm not just picking on Timu by the way, I've actually had pretty good experiences with them. I could have done this with Amazon and I have my issues with Amazon. I did a whole video on that topic. But I think whether it's Timu or whether it's Amazon, people these days have kind of accepted the fact that these listings online are sometimes inaccurate or exaggerated and I'm just not okay with that. And we haven't even talked about the design of this clock yet, which is a bit funky. It has like three different designs in one clock. I tweeted about it last night and some of the responses were kind of funny. I'll actually link to that tweet below. But going back to the what you see versus what you get question, I would say it looked much larger in a lot of their photos, sometimes double the actual size. It doesn't really glow in the daytime like they show, but it doesn't really look terrible either. At night, the glow is pretty good for about 15 minutes and then it fades to almost nothing. On the other hand, besides its funky design, it does work as a clock. It was only five bucks. It was easy to install, so it has that going for it. Anyways, that's all I've got. It was kind of a fun diversion from my normal product reviews. But if you've bought something online that didn't quite look like the listings, tell us what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.